by people. But they're sort of displaying at the moment, so they're calling. When they really get into it, they open their wings. So let's hope they do it again. Very typical animal here. Yeah? Heard me saying that we want to see it do a display again and it's deciding not to. This is also some bird behavior that we quite often see, just grooming. It's very important for all animals out here, same as for humans I guess. Keep yourself in clean condition, keep all the feathers straight and the skin clean and the nails short depending on who and what animal you are. And early morning is always a good time for birds to to groom also because it's getting warmer now they can sit facing the sun they can physically warm up a bit but also they put this very sort of thin layer of oil almost if you want to call it that not quite oil as such but a they've got a gland at the back between the between the shoulders if you want that they get this oily substance from and they put that on the feathers to keep keep them in good shape so by warming up in the sun that also softens that so they can clean off old dirt so keep everything in, in good shape It's quite a beak, huh? I love the sort of dual or duality of the name, a hornbill. Afrikaans also, you call them a whirring back, which means uh, exactly the same. It's almost in two ways. One is that the beak almost looks like, like horn fabric. or the, If you think of cattle horns or buffalo horns, it's a very hard protrusion from the face. The second one obviously is the fact that it is actually hollow. These animals make the noise, they use the vibration of the air inside these beaks to make the noise, so it's also like a horn or a trumpet. You actually get a hornbill that's called a trumpet to hornbill. Doubles up the deal meaning. really liking the background there as well, the sort of shapes you see is from a small green thorn tree. See all the spiky thorns sticking out. And actually a green thorn to be very technically correct doesn't have thorns, it's got, it's got spikes. So it's the thorns and it's actually adapted branches as opposed to adapted leaves. But that's trailing off. Beautiful hornbill. It seems like it's not going to call again. I think we're going to move on. see how relaxed he is. We're going to have to drive right past him. Let's see if he stays there for us. Or she. I don't actually know. Male and female look the same with your little hornball. Oh, how awesome is that? Look at that. That is stunning. Guys, we're literally sitting less than two meters away from this bird. Close up look at the details around the face, a bit of red around the eye, of course, the beak. That's awesome. <laughs> 